What's happening guys, Apple vs Cydia here. So in this video, I'll show you my top 5 iPhone games on my iPhone 4. So let's start with this. So starting at number 1, I have Temple Run. Each and every one of know what Temple Run and how to play this game. It's a very addictive game. Once you start playing this, you'll play it forever. So your main aim in the game is to run as far as you can from those evils running behind you and you have to run by avoiding the obstacles that come in your way. I mean obstacles. And collect as many coins as you can. You have to tilt your device to just collect the coins as many coins as you can. So well this is Temple Run. So the second game I have is called as Jenga. A very nice and intuitive game again. This is one of the most addictive game which I have ever played on an iPhone. I think this is not available for Android till now but still this is for iPhone and I do love this game. The main aim of us in the game is to just remove the blocks from the middle or from the bottom and just put it on the top of the building block. This is how you do this, you just pull it and just put it on the top but you have to ensure that you remove such blocks that don't disturb the structure of the building or I mean of course this is kind of a building and don't let it and it shouldn't fall when you remove the block. If, if the block is oh, okay, if the block is safe to remove it will um, be like just a pink or a white one but if it's, is, it is dangerous to remove it will give you a small image or a small error right here let me just show you if I can remove one so see it will give you a small image or error that this can lead to the like this will just make the whole building collapse But luckily I was able to remove this. You get an idea of how the game is. You should definitely go ahead, download this game and give it a try. It's also for the iPad if I am not mistaken. Okay, I remove the scene which I just put it earlier. So well, this is Jenga. So the next game I have is Subway Surfer. This game is pretty much similar to Temple Run but it is much more entertaining than Temple Run because you have different kind of uh, levels on it. I mean I can't say levels but uh, you know it is very much interesting than the Temple Run because you have some different kind of trains coming and you have to just stay on the trains. You can avoid trains and all that stuff. Very nice game. I definitely love to play this game. So my highest score is very low. It's only 49,574. As far as possible in the game, you have to stay on the top of the train to get a better view of what's coming in. As I said, it's much more interesting than temporary because when you double tap, you get something called as how about. If you just crash, it will give you a second chance. That's very nice. And you have to collect all these words which will definitely boost you up.
okay so here i crashed so this is subway surfers so the game i have now is called as fish out of water a very nice and addictive game i definitely love to play this game it's by half brick so our aim in the game is to throw all these fishes out of water so that's what the game is and you also have the boost which you can use so my boost is over so the highest is 65 meters so as you throw further fishes your score increases Okay, this was weird because I'm not able to play this with one hand. This fish bounces on water, that's the best part of this fish. So, as I said, 126 and the earlier scores add to this. So, this is the final throw. Drawing very bad score. So, well, this is fish out of water. So, the fifth and the last game is virtual tennis. This is one of the this is one of the kind of a 3D games which I have played. I'll not be able to demonstrate it right now because I'm just holding my camera. But still, I'll try to do this. I'll just try to put my phone on the camcorder. I mean, a tripod, something. So luckily, I was able to just. So let's play this. I think I won't be able to play the game. So let's begin the match. This game is only for the fourth generation devices like the iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, and other iPod touches and the uh, iPad 2, 3, 4, whatever iPods are there. Okay, so when this is virtual tennis, so you get an idea of how the game is. So if you like this video, please do rate this video up. Comment down in the comment section. Do subscribe to Apple vs. Studio and do like my Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.